and its intensity have been overwhelming. We've been trying every angle, every idea, every every trail, every every information has been looked at. We've run up into it where it ends. We turn back where we've been assessing. We have major agencies that had, have come on board with us, the BDF, the Coast Guard, um, BDART, the rescue team from Belmopan, and we, we, we cannot see where it is reasonable that this person would not have been found as yet. Day 5 into it, are we to think something else? We're not sure. However, looking at it, it's, it's something that is quite disturbing for us at this stage. Does this then shift the focus of your search and rescue effort to that of an investigation to find out if he had gone missing within the area or otherwise? The focus um, does not shift when it comes to the intensity of our search. It only intensifies what our investigation is at this stage. We are being supported by our investigative team from Belmopan now and Belize City. So our, our focus is not changing. There is, there is, there is a lot of hope in, in, on my side that we will bring home Mr. Kakamo alive. You mentioned earlier that the, the manpower has somewhat downsized in terms of the effort to go out into the area to look for Mr. Kakamo. Can you provide some detail or shed some light on that? The manpower has downsized a little in that the, the massive output from the company, because the company was providing in excess of 80 persons per day, and that was on a full-time basis. The company has, is, has been taking some, some loss, and, and they have downsized what that operation is. Ours is not changing, because we still need to follow through on the information being gathered. As we speak, we have people operational on the ground, in the river, and their, their area is now being expanded to other boundaries.